Okay, hi there and welcome to a micro video for Theme 3 Economics. Uh, we're going to look at an example of how a business might find the profit maximizing output using cost and revenue data in the short run. So in this situation, we'll take uh, the example of, uh, let's say, a bakery. Bakery producing batches of donuts to consumers. And we're going to look at, the, at this question, when is the highest total profit achieved? Well, to find that out, we need some data. So here is some hypothetical data. Uh, the data shows the short run costs of a donut bakery. And we're going to make a working assumption that a single batch of donuts sells for £8 per batch. Indeed, the, the, the bakery can sell any number of batches of donuts, boxes if you like, at £8 per box. That price won't fall. So here's our output. It's going up in units of 50, and you've got some data there on total cost, from which we can work out the marginal cost of each extra box of donuts and we can also work out the unit cost which is the total cost divided by output well total revenue uh, each each box of donuts sells for eight pounds so obviously we multiply price per unit by output to get a total revenue that's going to rise in blocks of 400 so every 50 boxes they sell their total revenue will go up by 400 pounds and that revenue will continue to rise as output goes up because we're assuming the price stays the same in this example that makes the marginal revenue fairly easy to calculate every single box of donuts will be sold for eight pounds so in this situation uh, the marginal revenue is assumed to be constant at eight pounds okay almost there we've got the data now on total cost and total revenue of course total profit in that sense is the difference between revenue and cost and you can see initially the firm makes a loss on that first 50 and then did the first hundred units sold, they make a small loss after 100. Let's do the calculations here. There's the total profit uh, losses in red shown there. And you can see the profits start to accumulate beyond an output of 150. Well, the key question here is when does a firm maximize their total profit? When is the highest total difference between cost and revenue achieved? Let's go back to our data. Uh, the answer is at an output level of 300. Uh, at output 250 and 300, the total profit is calculated to be plus 700 pounds. Well, uh, it makes sense to go to, to, to 300 units because that way you can increase your market share and sell some extra output as well. So total profit is maximized at 700 pounds in this example. But can you see it then tails off quite quickly and within the space of 100 extra units, they've turned a, a profit into a loss. So why is that the profit maximizing point? Well, we look at two things. We look at marginal cost and we also focus on marginal revenue. Consider, for example, when marginal revenue is higher than marginal cost. Let's think about increasing output from 150 to 200. Each of those 50 boxes of donuts cost three pounds per box, but we're getting eight pounds of extra revenue per box. So in that sense, we're adding the marginal profit that is plus five pounds on every box. And you can see the total profit does go up. Conversely, later on in the table, for near, near the bottom of this data, marginal revenue is now lower than marginal cost. It looks as if that four that, that batch from 350 to 400 has a significant marginal cost, maybe some big overtime payments. We have to bring another machine into play or perhaps the machinery is getting overused. The marginal cost is very high, £18 per box. And again, we're still only getting eight pounds back per box in terms of revenue. So in fact, we'll be losing 10 pounds per box on those batches of 50. That's enough to turn profit into loss. So that tells us that you maximize profit when the marginal revenue equals the marginal cost. Let's go back to the table at the output level 300. Uh, the marginal cost is eight pounds and the marginal revenue is eight pounds. We're not adding to profit. We're not losing profit. We're maximizing profit in that situation. By the way, I'm a big fan of Crosstown Donuts. They are just absolutely fantastic. One of the great brands that's emerging in London and many other cities. And here's a picture there of Crosstown Donuts in London. OK, there we go. A quick overview on short run costs and revenues and finding the profit maximizing point.